Welcome back to Pernod Kossor. We are here with Mr. Marky Mark, and we have a huge special guest. Uh, we have a bunch of special guests here today. It, this is Durham Gators. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you. Um, we have uh, these coaches here, Tyler and Chris. Tell me guys, about your, uh, the kids that you've been coaching and training with uh, Durham Gators. Um, I would say the kids are really hardworking, but for, at first, the kids are really like, school comes first. We have a lot of kids who are really smart and they do school work, and if the school's not done, they won't come to practice, but they work really hard. Yeah, these are three of our players here. Yeah. Uh, a lot of our players are friends off the court too, so yeah, it's a good team. They work really hard. We push them really hard, so yeah. And introducing these guys down here, we got Jordan, Zach, a familiar face, and Jaden here. So I don't know who wants to talk first, but... Um, I can ask them, like, yeah. in terms of... Uh, who wants to talk first? Yeah. Quick question. Jaden, Jaden, give me the mic to Jaden. What made you all, yeah, all, all want to play basketball? Like, who inspired you or what made you start to play basketball? Yep. Yeah. Uh, I think it was my parents that um, wanted me to play basketball because mm. I, they thought maybe it would be a good sport for me. Right. Uh, my brother and my dad, because when my, my brother used to play when he was younger, so my dad thought the next one could probably play. So, yeah. Um, my dad and my brother used to play because my brother plays right now. Right. And like that was a big impact in my life. Because like just growing up watching them play, it would be good for me to play too. That's a great influence, man. Yeah. But who are the players that inspired you guys? Like, oh, I want to continue to get better at basketball or to be a better player than I was before. Probably Steph Curry. He's a big impact in my life too. Right. Anyone else that doesn't? I, I know everyone likes Steph Curry, but <laughs> is there anybody else as well? Uh, like Trey Young too. Oh, well, pass the mic. Uh, Trey Young. Trey Young. He's like like Steph Curry, but a little bit shorter. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's what I want to be because I'm I'm not gonna be as tall right. as like them, like six three. So mm -hmm. yeah, um, Kyrie Irving because he got that's my guy right there. Yeah, he, is he saucy? Yeah, he's yeah, saucy. saucy. <laughs> I like the language. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah. the past a uh, few days ago, you guys had a chance to play at the Social Scotia Bank Arena yeah. uh, during halftime. I know. There was a mm. viral uh, sensation here in the yeah. room. I don't know where he is, but uh, first well, thoughts. We can go with the coaches. We can ask them how, yeah. did, you guys, what you guys how did you guys prepare them? Yeah. yeah. Well, honestly, for like the, we made them run a lot and do a lot of dribbling drills. But to be honest, on our team, we make everybody learn to dribble. So we have a guy named Bernard. He dribbles the ball really well. He's a big man. And Jaden can dribble the ball really well. Also him and Zach. How do we prepare them for that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, like like Coach uh, Chris said, we just push them really hard. We put them in a lot of game situations. They play a lot. They play, what, how many times a week? Four times a week, mm -hmm. almost every day. Practice. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. We'll finish practice and they'll go right to training. So they're they're ready for that. And before I, sh I should ask you before, how, how, what, what was the situation like when you got the call to actually play there, or how did you actually got to play? Uh, yeah, so my dad has a has a connect there, so uh, they're able to get kids, give them the opportunity to play there. Right. Uh, so. Mm -hmm. When uh, I actually played there as a kid too, so I knew what it was like. But obviously, Zach took it up a level, <laughs> just, a, just a bit. All right, and yeah, uh, Zach, you uh, something happened during that game or during yeah. halftime. Raptors posted a very uh, special video. Um, what, what what got into you to sauce them up, man? What what you, how, how did you cost them out? What what was it going through your mind that situation? Uh, I just wanted to like just walk down. There's not very like a like much like seconds or like minutes left so I try to put in like a freestyle mood to see what like and the crowd would do like just just to see like anything like just to you know I like Instagram mm -hmm. so I like to post so right. I try to give something to the crowd in that so yeah well how did you guys play playing at, uh, how did you guys feel playing at the court in general like a Raptors court right there how did you guys all feel felt nervous because there's like thousands like a lot of people watching you mm -hmm. so it's like I have to like, if I do something wrong, I might like, I'm get scared or something. So mm -hmm. you have to like show out a little bit. So yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, same what Zach said. I was pretty nervous too, but um, when we stepped on the court, we all felt um, like comfortable on the court to play in front of the crowd. Mm -hmm. And Jordan, what do you how what do you think about playing on the actual Raptors court? 
Yeah, how'd you, how'd you feel like playing you on the Raptors, the Raptors court? arena? Yeah. You get to play. Yeah. Do, you, do you remember playing on the Raptors arena? No? Uh, we both went there. Oh, oh, you weren't there. Yeah, oh, we my God. Oh, okay, okay. You will, you will play there one day. How, when, oh, if you get to play, how would you, how would you prepare for it? <laughs> um, like what Coach Chris and Coach Salvis said. Just right. make us run. Make us do dribbling. It'll work out. Uh -huh. And shooting. And shooting, yeah. I like to shoot <laughs> a lot. Do you, do you want to play on the Raptors one day or, or play in the NBA one day? Yes. Mm. All right, cool. Awesome. That's great. Um, dude, let's see. We have some questions for the coaches as well. We want to, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, what are some of the things that you guys instill in your players or um, to these kids uh, growing up or starting to play basketball? What are some of the fundamentals, uh, the mental aspect of the game? What are some of the things that you guys instill into them? Um, fundamentals at first, you must learn to dribble because if you can't dribble, you can't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. And actually, it's discipline. You have to be disciplined at home because mm -hmm. you have to respect your parents because mm -hmm. then after you'll be able to respect the coaches because mm -hmm. your coaches are like your gym parents mm -hmm. at the same time. That's how I would say, and eat healthy, sleep properly. Like my, my little brother, Marcus, he just trains all the time and his dad gets him prepared. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, we just, the one thing I really try to uh, instill in well, Zach and all the kids is that uh, we as coaches and trainers, we can't want it more than them, right? So we tell them they have to work hard. If there's practice, we don't want to be those ones to tell them to get ready. We tell them, come to us, like, let's go early, right? We, they got to want it more than us. We can't be pushing them, right? They got to push mm -hmm. themselves. I agree, yeah. And to you guys, uh, what are some of the things that you guys learned through basketball, not just, you know, the fundamental of the game, but what are some of the aspects that you guys have learned from your coaches, from playing with each other? What are some of the things that you've learned, uh, maybe friendship-wise? Like, you know, share us a little bit about you guys. What have you learned from it? <laughs> uh, always work hard if you don't work hard you're not going to be successful to your dreams and that so if you just work hard and put in the time for the work like working out like getting up early and doing all that stuff you'll like success and do all the stuff that you want to do um exactly just work hard if like someone says you're not good enough just keep on pushing yourself and Push take and yeah just motivate yourself to get better every day uh -huh. Yeah, like what Coach Chris and Coach Salah said, discipline. Discipline will help you out. What about the friendship that you guys have made through basketball? How do you guys feel about that? Like, you know, making friends through it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good. A lot. <laughs> made a lot of friends? Yeah. <laughs> All of us were cool. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you guys usually like to do after, besides basketball? What do you guys like to do together? Fortnite. 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 <laughs> that's, that's the game. Well, what do you on the other show? Well, yeah, Gamers well, Galaxy. We have another show for games, so yeah. It's um, good to hear. Well, we want to ask you guys, uh, for coaches, what are you guys, some of your advice for some of the other kids who want to be like these guys as well? We want to play one day in the Raptors court or be able to play basketball one day. Um, my advice would be just train. Honestly, if you train with the best, you become good. That's mm -hmm. it. And if you're not training with kids who are good, train by yourself and watch videos, you know, record yourself and see what you're doing wrong, what you're doing right. And just always train all the time. You train like three to four times a week, you'll get better. Uh, yeah, just perfect your craft, right? Just keep working day in and day out. Uh, always, just always try to get better, right? Sounds cliche, but you, you yeah, got to do it to get better, right? Right. And for you guys, last advice for the little kids. What are you guys can, uh, planning to work on? What are some of the things that you guys are working on to improve in your skills right now in basketball? Um, just keeping the ball, like when the team is, pre is pressuring. That's it. Mm -hmm. Just uh, working on my left hand because some people don't expect like a 10-year-old, like 9-year-old, whatever age you are, to pull out like a left hand. Like So I got to work on my left hand. Mm -hmm. So like... And I could just surprise the coach, like, whoa, like, he could actually, like, go to the left side. Like, no, nobody, like, 10-year-old can do that, basically. Um, working on my fundamentals um, and dribbling, too, because you can't really do anything without that. Right. Um, those are some great, uh, yeah, man. Some great moves and great advice from the coaches. So. Hey, thank you guys for joining us today for Pernod Crosser.